Good evening everyone and welcome to Her Majesty Blog, where we bring together the world of pageants with the aim of revolutionizing the standards of beauty and creating social development through women empowerment. My name is Onge and I will be your host for tonight and I'm super, super excited for the show this evening, the very first episode of our marathon, which is going to run from March until May, featuring finalists from the Mrs. Universe South Africa pageant, one of the biggest pageants in the country. And we are so honored to be able to chat to the finalists as they prepare for their journey for Mrs. South Africa for the year 2020. I was unable to join. I was about to say who will join us at the moment, but Oli, please send us another request to join in without wasting any more. Hi! Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. And how are you? I'm great. Thank you. Welcome back to the show. I was about to intro you as, you know, returning to Her Majesty. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. You started your journey with us, of course, as a semi-finalist. And tonight you are joining us as a finalist. Congratulations, officially. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for having me here tonight again. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing stuff. So it's a full circle moment. You know, the first time um, we hosted you on the show was last year in October, of course. And then fast forward to this year, March, you are one of the finalists. Please, before we move on with the show, how does it feel to move from semi-finalist to finalist, like with your very first pageant? Uh, it feels really amazing. Mm. I'm really mm. proud of myself for mm. having, like, to, to make it this far. I'm really proud of myself. It's really amazing. I have enjoyed the journey up to this far. Amazing stuff. And now you've added one more title to your many titles. You're a wife, you're a mom. Of course, you're a professional. Um, take us through a day in your life. like. From start to finish, what happens with everything that's going on? Okay, so my typical day would be, obviously, I wake up. The first thing that I do is I pray. Um, I obviously thank God for giving me another opportunity to see the new day. And then I start preparing for work. But before that, I pray and then I do what I call personal development. That's um, an hour. That should be from half past four until half past five. Mm -hmm. I then would take a bath and then prepare my kids to school, prepare breakfast. And um, recently also I have uh, started transporting other, you know, other mom's uh, kids because I, um, I saw the need that instead of them using public transport because I have enough space in my car, why don't I just transport them? So then I now leave like two hours early <laughs> for work mm -hmm. because I have to collect these kids in different houses. So I would collect the kids, drop them off at school and then go to work. And then, then, right. then, so then start my day obviously at work. And then start your day at work. And then after work, all the craziness, the kids, this and that. How do you yes. balance everything out? <laughs> after work, obviously I have to go and pick them up. Normally, I'll then go to gym and then come and prepare dinner. But you know what? I, I have, I think I've done a really good job at maintaining, at finding balance on how to do everything, like to balance in, in, in my day. So I do make time for everything. Great stuff. And one thing you said st that stuck out for me was personal development. You know, taking that time out you know, at the beginning of the day to develop yourself. What do you do um, during that time that other people can, of course, benefit from while listening to this interview? Okay, so what I do during that hour, it will either be I'll be listening to um, motivation or I will be listening to a sermon, you know, because I believe that how you start your day is how you, you end your day. So I believe very much in setting the tone for my day. So I know that if I set a tone for my day, then everything else will just go smoothly. So it will either be listening to a motivation or listening to a sermon during that time. Amazing stuff. And that, of course, helps you 
throughout the day and during the course of your life in general? Yes, it's definitely. It does make a, a huge impact. Amazing stuff. And how has your family been or how receptive have they been to your pageantry journey? You know, adding one more title, which is being a pageant model. Sorry, can you just repeat that question again? How receptive has your family been with you adding one more title, you know, to your many titles, which is being a pageant model? How, how do they feel about everything? Oh, I think they are very excited. At first, <laughs> they were very shocked that I took this bold step because they know me as this introvert, you know. But also at the same time, they know me as this person who always wants to try new things. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning, they just thought, oh, it's just one of those things that she's trying again because she's always trying this and this, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think it's it's exciting to, to, to witness the journey with me, to witness how much I've grown and obviously how 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 also I'm enjoying the journey, what it has done to my life, you know, when in terms of growth and stuff. So I think my family is also like very supportive and they are just as excited as I am with my journey. Amazing. And what has been the highlight of your journey so far? Uh the highlight of my journey, yo, there is a lot actually. Obviously, the session ceremonies, um, the empowerment workshops that we have, also being able to do my charity work, uh, mm -hmm. being able to serve, because that's another thing that I'm very passionate about. It's something that I have been doing also even prior to yes. the pageant. So that's also been my highlight, and also being a public and motivational speaker, where I address women on self-love, health, and, and empowerment. Also, being a brand ambassador of one of the biggest um, fashion houses, which is UDM Fashion House, that's also been a highlight through my journey. So, ah, okay. so a lot of things have been happening. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine. And this is only, let me just repeat this for people who don't know, but they're watching. This is your first pageant. <laughs> yes, this is my very first pageant. Amazing. Like, that one, we're not supposed to leave it out. Like, it, it's really amazing <laughs> what you achieved with your very first pageant. And I'm going to be very forward and ask you, oh, your video is on. Okay, I saw a notification that, okay. Can no, you hear sorry, me? Please? That was coming through. You see, that's what oh, happens okay. also. Because I'm a travel office manager. I, oh. I'm also required to work, you know, after hours. So that was just a call from work because, but they will understand. <laughs> yeah, are you sure they're going to understand? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> all right, all right. No, I know what the call about, so it's not, it's not agent. <laughs> all right, all right. You don't want to miss anything. Uh, I was about to say, I'm going to be very forward and ask you, what or where do you see yourself going with this whole pageant and modeling thing um, moving forward beyond Mrs. Universe South Africa? Where do I see myself going? Um, I actually, wherever life will take me, okay. that's where I will go because I believe that a lot of those will open up for me as they have already started mm -hmm. uh, never in a million in a million years did i dream of being a brand ambassador of one of the biggest you know fashion houses um mm -hmm. being a public speaker and a motivational speaker so mm -hmm. i see myself really growing uh, like you know as a woman like i i really feel like i'm going to be empowered more throughout my journey throughout your journey ah love it so much and congratulations um with everything okay i missed a comment okay i am champ tunes is saying as part of the family i'm very proud of you go on and slay on auntie x <laughs> <laughs> and then um the next question of course is aligned to mrs universe um south africa you know people usually join pageants that are aligned with their values you know you just you don't just um, go into a pageant um what about okay hi faith i, I saw you crying 
emoji and I, my heart almost stopped. I thought something was wrong. Okay, I'll read your comment after this question. Sorry, Koli. No um, I, was about to say, <laughs> I was about to say, people usually join pageants that are aligned with their values in life. You know, you don't just join a pageant for the sake of joining it. What about Mrs. Universe South Africa um, attracted you to the pageant itself? Okay, okay. so I'm an all-rounder. Um, I'm an all-rounder. I do like a lot of things, <laughs> obviously things that add value to my life. And I saw that they were looking for that kind of a woman who can balance their personal life, their career, and also still be able to give back to the community. And I could relate to that. Like I said previously, that it has been something that I've been doing even prior to the pageant. Mm. So when I saw that, I was like, this is an opportunity for me to do this even further because obviously now this platform will give me an opportunity to meet more people. And obviously, mm. if I meet more people, I'll be able to do even more than what I, I was doing solo, you know. So mm. um, that's why I related to the pageant. And obviously, I also saw it as an opportunity to learn and to grow myself as well. And I'm sure you can also agree, like, from the first, <laughs> from the first interview that you, we had, I have grown so much. My self-confidence has boomed. You know, mm. I, have, I have done a lot of things since the last time we spoke. Since the last time we spoke spoke ah amazing stuff and trust me yes we, we can see the growth and that's why we're so excited for you and that's why we're so excited that you're the first one you know on the first episode to come and you know lay the foundation once again for the grand finale and uh, you mentioned a lot about learning you know learning throughout the process um let's go back to pageant coaching how has having a coach actually helped you over and above being the amazing person that you are, but knowing what to do in terms of pageantry, how has having a coach added to your accolades? Yo, it, it has helped me a lot. <laughs> in fact, if I didn't have a coach, I don't know <laughs> which direction I would be going. So having a, a coach has helped me a lot because like I said, this was my first ever pageant. Mm -hmm. So initially when I started, I thought, okay, I've got this, I can do this. But the minute mm -hmm. I spoke to my mentor, that's when I realized that you, I had no clue what I was doing. <laughs> so it has helped me a lot because obviously it's something that she is well experienced in. So she mm -hmm. has been guiding me. She has been giving me a lot of information on what to do. And also the journey, as much as it is exciting, uh, mm -hmm. it's all, it, it can also become overwhelming. So having someone to hold your hand, you know, to give you that kind of support that you need, it, it's very, it's very helpful. Amazing. Shut up. To Nazia. Hi, Nazia. If you're watching, yeah, hi. She is the best. She is the best. <laughs> Very best. She is really the best. And there, there is a lot that we, you know, I didn't know about pageantry. Mm. From, mm. you know, it starts from doing your research, like uh, knowing why you entered, you know, even the fact that there's certain shoes that you're not supposed to be wearing, there's certain shoes that you mm. must wear. The pageant walk, there, there is a lot that goes in and I'm so glad that I had someone who was guiding me. Otherwise, I would have just, you know, did things mm -hmm. like a normal person and I'm not a normal person anymore. I'm a pageant, you know, I'm a pageant queen. <laughs> so I'm so glad that she came around and she assisted me. Amazing stuff. And of course, all the best um, in the future as you continue to learn more and more about pageantry. And then um, a lot of pageantry uh, has to do with advocacy. Um, what do you advocate for strongly? Um, and which is something that you plan on, of course, moving forward with when you win the Mrs. Universe South Africa crown. Okay, so my advocacy and cause is obviously preserving humanity and building stronger, healthy communities. And what I mean about preserving um, humanity is I, I want to help people with having to help them to have access to their basic needs. Those are the needs mm -hmm. that you normally take for granted, you know, your day-to-day -day needs that is having a nutritious meal every day clean water, access to basic education, access to health care, 
those are the things that we normally take for granted and i believe that every human right it's, it's every human being right to have access to those needs so that is my strong advocacy because i believe that it all starts there and i also believe that if more people would have access to their basic needs it will also you know um it will minimize the other things that are going on in our communities because i believe that the lack of these basic needs it's what also in, instigates the crime the substance abuse in 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 other people because that's their way of coping with you know the situations that they are involved in so that is very that is a, a strong advocacy that i'm advocating for and when i say uh, building strong and healthy communities um i mean we need to, to we need to be accountable for each each other in our communities you can't just turn a blind eye if you can see that your neighbor your neighbor is you know is in need of something so that's how we're going to be building um strong communities through the spirit of ubuntu you you need to help each other where you can see that there is a need and you are able to help obviously you know i always say that we cannot help everyone but everyone can help someone so that's the that's that's the very strong um advocacy and cause that i'm passionate about ah amazing stuff and all the best with the, the activities of course you have to do in order to you know foster your advocacy and speaking of advocacy, here at Her Majesty, we advocate for women empowerment and we are about to wrap up International Women's Month. Any message of hope to women out there for the month and the rest of the year and our lifetimes, of course. Yes, for a lifetime, of course. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. I, I would say that, you know what, every woman should believe in themselves and they should believe in the power that is bestowed upon them. They must never doubt their power and they must just love themselves unconditionally. Amazing. Wow, so short and sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. We'll, we'll take a clip of it and play it over and over again on TikTok to make sure that we are wrapping up International Women's Month with a bang. And going back to your journey with Mrs. Universal Africa, if we want to support you, or if you want to follow your journey, where can we go? What can we do? What is the process moving forward now until the grand finale? Okay, so how people can support me is obviously to please go and, and, and follow my pages on Instagram, and which is at mantabati82, and on Facebook is Goli Mguevu. So people can just support me by following um, my journey through my social media. There is a link there to vote for me or, or on my on my Instagram and on Facebook, and also um like I said that I'm I'm busy with my charitable work, I'm I'm busy doing um my community work as well. So people can must just have a look out at my page, and if there's something that they can assist with, they must please just reach out to me. There's a lot that um we can help with um in our communities. There's a lot of people that are in need. And if you have something that you need, uh, that you can donate, I would really appreciate it. And also, if there are people that want me to help them, they can also just reach out to me uh, and I'll be able to assist them. Ah, amazing. Thank you so much for the work that you do. And I hope that people who are listening will be able to join you in making a change in the community. And then... Uh, Oh, I love this question. It's, we are reaching the end of the interview. So now things are heating up. For every single finalist that we interview on this show, we need to ask this question. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> now, now we're getting hectic. Um, why do you think you should be crowned Mrs. Universe South Africa for the year 2023? I believe that I should be crowned in Mrs. Universe South Africa 2023 because I believe that I will represent the crown very well. Um, I carry myself with integrity and I hold a very high standard for myself. I'm compassionate about other people and I have a saving spirit. Um, I'm also a hard worker who doesn't give up easily. So whatever that I start, I make sure that I follow through and I finish it. So whatever that I put my mind into, I can do it. 
And also, I'm just, you know, I'm just a, a happy soul. I love people. I love life. And I live my life in gratitude. So I believe that I can represent the crown very well, should I be crowned Mrs. Universe SA 2023. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing stuff. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much for answering that question so wholeheartedly. You know, it's all the best with your journey with Mrs. Universe South Africa. We want that full circle moment. You want semi-finalist, finalist, and then winner. Imagine now coming back to the show like June and you are the winner. <laughs> that has to be a live incident. There we need to be sitting down face to face. It would be really, really <laughs> amazing. <laughs> that would be lovely. That would be really lovely. And then our final question, I think you know it. Um, because you've been on the show before. Please don't answer it the same way you answered it last time. Please. Like, he was great. You know what? Like, yes, we had to ask the question. That's the thing. The question needs to be asked, you know, to keep up with the momentum of the show and, of course, what you stand for here and Her Majesty. All right. So, Tolim Gwebu, Mrs. Universe South Africa finalist 2023, what does beauty mean to you? A beauty to me, it means self love and acceptance. It means loving yourself unconditionally, like loving yourself with no conditions, loving yourself like the way you are with your faults and all that, because I believe that, you know, both our faults and our strong points, it's what builds us. So it's self-acceptance, self-love, and just loving yourself unconditionally and obviously prioritizing yourself always. Always. Ah, nice one. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> you didn't repeat the answer. Almost. <laughs> almost. But it shows that you, you know, you, you know what BT stands for and you actually live it um, throughout your life. So there's no need for you to change from October to March. I was just trying to trick you. Sorry about yes, that. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I answered it differently for it's the same thing because it is what it is. <laughs> we can't change. Step life and, you know... <laughs> I love it. No, Tony, thank you so much for joining us on the show tonight. Let me not waste any of your time. You know, you are a multifaceted and amazing woman and we want to see you flourish on this pageant. And once again, all the very best. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for giving me this platform. I am so grateful. You know, when I, I was laughing at myself when I remember the first time we had this interview. So it's really such an honor to be here again. So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I always, I, like, because you're coming back for the second time, I, I forgot to ask you the icebreaker question. Because you're not breaking the ice. The ice was broken last year. <laughs> so now, like, I, I literally forgot. Okay, I need to ask you the question before before we you know let, let it be a a partying question. Um, <laughs> what's your favorite song to walk to in a pageant? My favorite song to walk to a pageant is "I'm a Believer." Ah, yes, yes, yes. yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. So now you can go listen to the song so you can get into this. Before you take off your sash, you need to listen to the song, right? Yeah, I will. <laughs> and walk around the house to practice. Walk around the house with your sash and then listen to the song. <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> Must I take a video for you? <laughs> yes, yes. That would be great. Please do that. And take a video. And then post it on your stories and tag us. That would be really amazing. I will do that for you. <laughs> amazing stuff. Thank you so much, Tony, and have yourself a great evening. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have yourself a great evening, too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yes. Ah, amazing stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching the show this evening. That was Koli Mguevu. I was about to say Koli. Koli Mguevu, who's a finalist at the Mrs. Universe South Africa pageant. I'm just going to read a couple of announcements before I leave. So the next episode of It Is Within You Chats, oh wow, it's actually scheduled for 
Thursday, this coming Thursday, and we will be discussing coaching in pageantry with Coach Merv. So remember, guys, every single last Thursday of the month, we have another show called It Is Within the Chat. So there we chat about everything pageantry, any topic. If you have a topic that you'd like to suggest to us, please, please, please send it through on the DMs. We'd love to discuss it as well. So this Thursday, we'll be discussing um, coaching in pageantry pageantry with coach Merv. i actually just remember something it's going to be a really really special episode we have a surprise guest we have a guest coach Merv, but we have a surprise guest and we cannot waste wait to host her on the show and then if you are or know anyone who is a pageant service provider for example a photographer a dress designer a sash manufacturer etc you can now advertise your products or services on our platform. So send us an email, her majesty organization at gmail.com or WhatsApp us on 073 7477 Thank you so, so much once again for joining us on the show this evening. Remember, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok. So please follow us there and leave us any comments. If you'd like to see people on the show that you haven't seen before, if you'd like to suggest a topic for us to discuss, we are open to anything. But for myself, Omke, and the rest of the team tonight, it is goodbye from me. Ciao.